Our state's response to the pandemic has been strong. And every phase of it has required North Carolinians from Cherokee to Chihuahuan to step up and do their part, including the people in this room tonight. Farmers, restaurant cooks, grocery store workers kept us fed. Educators, bus drivers, custodians, and cafeteria workers helped our children get meals, stay safe, and learn. Law enforcement, firefighters, EMTs kept us protected. Passionate, peaceful protesters of all stripes challenged us and reminded us the importance of protecting our freedom of speech. Faith leaders prayed for, helped, and comforted us. Scientists and researchers at our great universities helped discover and make vaccines and treatments. Moms, dads, grandparents, children, neighbors, friends, everyday people endured together and helped each other. You see, North Carolinians step up in times of crisis. And now, it's time for us to step up. The elected leaders, North Carolinians want us to work together like they have had to do. Now, members of the legislature, we know we can find common ground because we've done it before. Our differences often get the attention, but our cooperation got billions of dollars in relief funds to people who needed it. You passed and I signed legislation to provide funding to rebuild after the natural disasters. Together, we passed the build and see bonds for better roads. We landed tens of thousands of good paying jobs with strategic and accountable economic incentives. We got rid of the discriminatory House Bill 2. We raised the age for juveniles in the criminal justice system. And just last month, together, we got more children safely into their classrooms. And we know we have to do so much more. We often have our differences in these chambers, but the people of North Carolina should know that at times, when it mattered, their leaders stepped up. And now, we need to do it again. 